Hello and uh, welcome to another class on uh, bioinformatics. Today we shall understand an important uh, bioinformatics tool called BLAST. BLAST is Basic Local Alignment Search Tool. It is one of the most useful and widely used tool in bioinformatics. It is actually a sequence similarity search tool. It finds the regions of similarity between your sequence and all the other related sequences that are available in various sequence databases. It also calculates statistical significance of the similarity between the sequences. BLAST is used for studying functional and evolutionary relationship between both protein and nucleotide sequences. So we will now look into the various uh, uh, details about this important tool that is widely used. This is uh, Stephen Actual. He is the one who developed the BLAST tool in 1990. There are a number of uh, BLAST tools that are available uh, in various web servers and uh, these are the different flavors of BLAST. Actually, there are four important uh, BLAST tools that are widely used. This one is BLAST-N, that is Nucleotide BLAST, which compares the nucleotide sequences. BLAST-X, it actually uh, compares the translated nucleotide sequences against protein sequences. T-BLAST-N, protein sequence searched against translated nucleotide sequences. BLAST-P is protein blast which compares the uh, protein sequences we have api blast options also this is how you query a sequence on a blast tool so you have to actually have the uh, blast uh, uh, tool that is available on internet and you require fasta format of the sequence the fasta format of the sequence whether it is protein or nucleotide sequences has to be pasted in the search bar of the blast tool so for blast what you should do is, is go to google and search for blast so you get blast which is available on ncbi homepage. so you have uh, this is the blast tool that is there on your screen right now there are two uh, important BLAST uh, tools. We have Nucleotide BLAST and Protein BLAST. These are the most widely used ones. In addition to that, we have BLAST-X and T-BLAST-N. So these are the four important um, versions of BLAST that are widely used. This is the search uh, region where you have to paste your sequence. I have uh, saved some sequences for uh, the study. The sequences may be downloaded from uh, various uh, databases, nucleotide sequence databases. Like for example, you can download from uh, GenBank or DDBJ or um, uh, you can also download it from the EMBL database. So also you can have your own sequences that you have, oh, that, that you have obtained by sequencing. So FASTA format of the sequence has to be pasted in the search region and then you click the blast button so blast button is clicked all right so now it will take only a few seconds for you to get the results so this is the job title that you've got it here all right your request id and uh, and you get your results so this is the result that you obtain and this is the related sequences so your sequence is actually called the query and the sequences of the database uh, server sequences are called the subject. So it actually compares your sequence with the sequence of database one by one, one by one. And it is a local uh, alignment search tool. Only uh, regions of similarity are actually searched and described. So this is the list of the uh, sequences and this is the graphic summary. It will tell you about uh, the extent of similarity between your sequence and the sequences of the databases. So if it is there in, uh, it is there in, actually it appears, graphic summary appears in different colors. And if it is there in red color, actually the amount of similarity is higher. All right. So now we have this is the graphic summary and uh, you have the job title and other details are available here on the screen all right now you can uh, also go to the other uh, sections of your results it's actually a very big result you can download the entire result and study later or you can uh, see it one by one on the screen so you have this is the graphic summary 
all right now the first sequence is your sequence and then the alignment so your sequence is query all right let's query and uh, it is actually all right aligned against the sequence of the database so query is your sequence subject is the sequence of the sequence database all right so your sequence is compared with the sequence of the database and uh, one by one each sequence of the database is compared at a time There's the taxonomic lineage the complete taxonomic lineage of the uh, each and every sequence can be seen you can study each and every sequence this is a distance tree phylogenetic tree all the sequences that are actually compared and closely related and they are put in the evolutionary tree here all right now your sequence the query sequence is appearing here in yellow color yellow color one is the one which is uh, your sequence or the query sequence and each group of sequences are actually uh, depicted in different color for example you have uh, the pink color is uh, for green algae and uh, green color is for eudicots and you have brown color for flowering plant likewise so each uh, group of organisms are uh, depicted or shown in different colors so phylogenetic tree will give you the evolutionary relationship between the protein that you submitted and the all the other protein that are there in the databases so how do you uh, read the results these are the details of how you read the results what is important and uh, what should be noted uh, as far as your Uh, the result that is obtained is concerned maximum score you get total score you get identities you get positives you get gaps scores bit score e value is the most important here the expected value is very important all right so based on the extent of e value all right now you can uh, find out the relationship between your protein and or your sequence with the other sequence it may be protein or nucleotide so there is a significant correlation between sequence similarity and evolutionary distance and this is depicted in do little curve you can save your uh, results this is the way in which you can save your curves this is a brief idea about how the uh, tool called blast works so you can always go to blast that is there available on ncbi and uh, work on that thank you very much for watching this video we will meet again with some other episode in the next uh, uh, video thank you very much all right like share and subscribe thank you very much